coffee shop owners in Amsterdam have expressed relief at the news that tourists will still be welcome in the Dutch capital's famous cannabis cafes. The city's mayor, Eberhard van der Laan, who had been opposed from the beginning to the ban, introduced in April this year by the Netherlands' previous government, said that tourists should remain able to enjoy Amsterdam's coffee shops. Now we, are, we are very happy with the mayor of Amsterdam that uh, they made a courageous decision to, uh, to leave the coffee shops open for tourists. Uh, it's very good that the city of Amsterdam can decide what is good for the city itself. The new Dutch government coalition agreed to amend a law that threatened to indiscriminately ban foreigners from the cannabis outlets in the Netherlands by the end of the year. The amendment, in theory, gives Mayor van der Laan and other local authorities the choice whether to enforce the ban or not. However, a Justice Ministry spokesperson said that there was no guarantee the law would change to accommodate Amsterdam, meaning the mayor may not be able to deliver on his promise to overturn the ban. The main reason cited for opposing the ban, apart from defending the business of the coffee shops and the lucrative tourism revenue, was that it would have created more problems without solving any old ones. What we saw in the south of Holland, where the wheat pass was introduced, is that uh, you see a big uh, uprise of the black market. Uh, there's uh, no control over the quality of the soft drugs uh, and also no control over the age that people buy the soft drugs, which is the case in the coffee shops. So now we can make sure that the coffee shops can take the responsibility to make sure that people can use the soft drugs in a safe environment. The rethink will also abandon the hugely unpopular requirements that even Dutch users of the cafes would have to register for a weed pass. Other cities such as Rotterdam and Haarlem are also expected to sidestep the ban.